guys and gals, now we're here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something mounts with the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent Raise Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> with a gleeful smile, you wave back at her as she got escorted further in. You followed the procession till the end as the crowd gradually settled, to settled down around the inner park ring. For a brief moment, Alyssa remained silent before the Guardian Crystal as she gazed upon it. As she... Turned around and spoke, however, her voice was clear and resounding as can be. Citizens of Crystal Coast, though we may come from all walks of life, from the zenith of the mountains to the depths of the seas, we come together today for a common concern, the well-being of our kith and kin against that in this encroaching blight. There are dark, these are dark times, and while my fellow sages and our champions may be heroes, we expect not the same duties from you. It is, it is, if it is your lives you wish to safeguard, then please... Seek refuge. Carry on the Maker's legacy. Let not your pure souls be corrupted. If you wish to depart, then go with the wind. Scatter like dandelions. Carry on this message. Carry on our people. And for those who wish to stay, stalwarts is the mighty pine. You shall remain here to maintain their shelter for those who might return. Flores florent et solus ortus illuminat, ubicumque terraramitis. Per ordinem semper concilium et prosperitas eterna invinitus, ubi concordia ibi victoria, itac dum inter homines sumes culumas humanitatum, ordeni prosperita, ordeni prosperita. Soon afterwards, the crowd dispersed as almost everybody returned to their places. Your team was about to leave as well when you noticed two of Alyssa's escorts approaching Max, whispering to him about something as he stepped away from the group. When he returned, he said that Alyssa had asked them all to speak to her in private at the Inner Park Sanctum. In private? But isn't this a public space? No worry about that. These guards will lead us to her. Come on, team. Let's vacate the premises. Do we really have to? I'd rather check back at the tavern for a bit. Come on, Cody. It's not every day you get to meet Lady Spring. And if it's a chance to convene with her, I'll take it. Let's go, guys. Time's a-wasting. <laughs> well, we can always count on Al to boss people around when it's something he's really invested in. <clears throat> I mean, I'd love to ask for her remarks on what we discovered about the soil, that's all. Well, be on your best behaviors, guys. We're gonna meet Lady Spring, after all. Yeah! Before you moved along, you overheard a group of civilians talking amongst themselves. They, however, didn't seem too pleased of what Alyssa had to say. What the hell? Just as I thought we were safe when that sage lady arrived, now she's telling everybody to just leave if they so wish to. What's that all about? Hey, keep it down, Alan. You want to stay on the? You want to stay at the guard station for questioning again? You're lucky it's still too noisy to hear your hollering. He's got a point, though, Jeff. We ain't daft. You must admit that whoever that sage person is, she just blatantly confessed that the city is no longer safe. And what are we supposed to do, huh? Just pack our bags, leave, and get eaten in the wilderness? Scatter like dandelion, she says? We'd sooner have our bones and ashes scattered in a ditch out in the field at this rate. Even if we can leave, I don't want to leave either. My father already passed away after moving cities for months. I don't want the same thing to happen to the rest of my family. <sighs> when will this ever end? You know what, people? I've just about had enough of this shit. You, 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 and you, and me, we're all staying here. Whatever the fuck comes bearing its teeth down our doorstep, so be it. We'll fucking rip its face off or die trying. Hey, what's the commotion here? You people are to leave this place immediately. Do not cause any disturbance or we'll have to arrest you for questioning. Damn it, will you just ever know when to put a lid on, Alan? All right, all right, sorry, sorry, we're going, jeez, no need to slap us around so much. And you there, you're with the guild, yes? Come help us clear this other group, will you? Oh, yes, right away. He then enjoyed along with the guards to clear people out of the place. Afterwards, all of them stood guard both in the inner and outer rings of Vitram Park. Max then led the team towards the inner sanctum close to the Guardian Crystal, which Alex took, took you to before. The guards then asked the rest of the group to stay outside while you were escorted in alone. Request to your audience, Lady Spring. Granted. What do you require this time around? We're here with the person you requested, milady. Thank you. If you may grant us some privacy, I would be grateful as well. Understood, milady. He glanced at the guards as they promptly moved further away from the inner sanctum, bringing the group along as well. Ray only winked at you as he left with the others. 
Soon enough it was quiet again, with just you and Alyssa near the Guardian Crystal. <laughs> I apologize. It must seem pe peculiar to you that I'd asked everyone to just l to leave just as they've gathered around to welcome me back. Truth be told, I was rather overwhelmed. So many th thoughts and emotions the people of Crystal Coast had arbored for me over the years. But I had to smile on, lest the last bastion of our people's courage faltered. This... Is that why you chose chose to leave the for to live in the forest? Precisely so. And before you could say much else, Alyssa already pulled you in for a hug before eventually letting go for a while. Oh, Cassie, and I've missed you. How have you been, my dear? Has the city been treating you well? I I'm doing all right, Alyssa. The city and the guild have been welcoming to me, and it's really nice to see you again, ma'am. Good. That's very relieving to hear. Would you mind going for a walk with me then? I can tell you have a lot of questions to be answered. Yes, ma'am. As you followed Alyssa along the inner sanctum, you couldn't help help keeping a keen eye on her garment. It was intricate and elegant, yet somehow felt familiar to you. Is something wrong, child? Oh, nothing. It's just you look very different this time. She only chuckled softly as you gestured her outfit. Oh, I'm still the same Alyssa you know, dear. And truth be told, I'd much rather wear what I usually would have back at home. But alas, we all have an image to keep up amongst others, haven't we? So they say, yeah. That one right there, okay. So you know. Okay. And I agree, I'd prefer simple clothing as well. So I guess this new uniform that Max and the others got for me suits me really well. Indeed, you look quite dashing in those, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Actually, that reminds me, I should return the clothes that you lent for me before. There's no need for that. I gave it to you, so it's rightfully yours. Just remember to keep it well. That's all I ask from you. Yeah, I'll keep it safe. Thank you again, Alyssa. You're welcome. Now, what is it you'd like to know? I will answer to the best of my abilities. Well... Why am I here, Alyssa? Why me of all the people that could be brought here? What is the purpose in me being in me being the hero? Well, you're here because it, ha because it is as the prophecy had foretold. In other words, fate has ordained that you are the one to vanquish the evil king. I didn't ask for any of this. That being said, however, this does not mean everything is already set in stone, Cassian. What do you mean by that? Prophecies are, in essence, just another means. Long have people used divination to seek guidance throughout their lives. How they actually live their lives and shape that path towards their destination, however, is entirely up to them. So, well, it might, well, it might say that you'd be, so, well, it might say that you'd be the one to pull up, put all of this to rest. The prophecy does not specify how. That's why you can take your time, Cassian. Do it at your own pace, in your own way. I'm sure you'll come up with something of your own accord. Huh, I guess I never thought of it that way. But still, isn't the situation pretty urgent? I don't think I can just mosey along forever. I suppose your concern is not unfounded. Worry not. We'll have a talk with your friends after we're done here. Perhaps we can figure something out together. It sounds like a plan. Thanks, Alyssa. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Once you've found the purpose of your journey, everything else will become clear as day to you. But how will you reach, the, how you will reach that point is the question. I, too, am quite curious of how you intend to do so. Well, anything else you'd like to ask, Cassian? What are my powers? Uh, so what exactly are my powers? At first I thought I couldn't use magic like the others, but when Alex made me touch the Guardian Crystal here, Alyssa looked at the Guardian Crystal as she gestured towards it, I got zapped, which she said wasn't supposed to happen. Were you hurt? Thankfully, no, I just, I just got zapped really bad, which I think Alex called System Shock or something. But afterwards, he suddenly found out that I could use magic now. Which, admittedly, I did hurt myself trying to use it. I see. Thankfully, you are still here with us. What did your friend Alex make of this discovery? Well, he said my element was ether. Did I say that right? Yes, ether is indeed an element, although not in the sense that you may believe. So, if it's an actual element, does it mean I can use ether magic then? You could, yes, if that element actually exists to begin with. Huh? Alyssa, I don't understand. D didn't you say it was a real element? An actual hypothetical element. You see, Cassian, in our field of study, one does not simply discard nor disregard the unknown and unseen. The existence of the nether element implies the existence of its antithesis, which so far has been named ether. Alas, without any observable nor tangible evidence, this element will yet remain a hypothesized one. I see. So what does that make me, then? Well, the conclusion that Alex had arrived at is close, but not quite. 
He was correct in deducing that your element is none of the common ones, but rather what we sages call the null element. The null? What does that mean? I mean, I know what the word means, but that doesn't make any sense. If my element was null, then how could I use magic any, any magic at all? I, I'd be empty, right? In a sense, you're correct, but think of it this way, Cassian. Your body is akin to a prism. For most others, their prism is tuned to only let certain types of light pass through. But null prisms are different. They are empty, possessing not on their own. And instead of letting one single element pass through, yours can adapt to whichever the inbound energy is, making it your own. That sounds... powerful. But how did that happen? Perhaps it is indeed because you touched the Guardian Crystal. When I first made the blueprint for it, I had the Nether's antithesis element in mind. And while it never truly materialized more than just an opposite force, it was enough to not only ward off, but also disperse any traces of Nether within the barrier. Huh, does that mean the Guardian Crystal runs on ether still? Hypothetically, I suppose, I would say it is merely an approximation. As I've said, the element has never once materialized in this world, even if, it, even if there exists a force able to neutralize the nether element. Thus, by combining various types of crystals, we could achieve a frequency of the force I just described. And the fact that it reacted to your touch means it still functions optimally, even after several decades. Yeah, it's really powerful, but after the recent events, I'm not so sure about that anymore. So I've heard. Though, trouble yourself not, dear. Your friend was diligent enough to keep a close eye on the crystal. And now that I'm here as well, we can see to, we can see to that the barrier remains strong to protect Crystal Coast. You're right. I hope the Guardian Crystal is, is safe for the good this time. But one more thing, Alyssa. Alex said that some people can channel power from the crystal, but it's not recommended. What does he mean by that? It's a safety precaution, Cassian, because the reaction varies greatly depending on the person touching it. If they cannot possess any elements, they cannot resonate with the crystal. Thus, nothing will happen when they touch it. But others who do might suffer a shock greater than what, the, than what you went through. For that reason, one should not risk it by tempting fate. I see. Also, there is another reason why I decided to vacate this courtyard. It's not just for my own peace of mind, but also for your good as well. <sighs> for my good as well? Mm-hmm. You possess a sensitive heart, Cassian. As such, it wouldn't take much for you to resonate with someone else's thoughts and feelings. I seen the look on your face when you heard of what those fellow citizens had to say about me. Because of that, it would be best for you to be here, just with a few people who we can speak to. Worry not, your friends will soon join us as well. Okay, I see. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to ask Cassian? Am I doing the right thing? <sighs> Am I, uh... Have I been doing the right thing? Define right, if you please, Cassian. Well, am I really doing the right thing as the hero? I mean, there's no doubt about a doubt, but there's no doubt about me being the hero. That was all foretold in the prophecy, right? Still, I try to help people and train myself where I can, but something still feels missing, you know? Like I should be making more progress or getting my reward out of this. Cassian, you need to be careful. Huh? Careful? Yes, your intentions in the way you speak. It really shows. Amend your ways while you still can, or you will find the path towards your destination a most treacherous one. Um, you're scaring me a bit there. I don't know what you mean by any of that. I still mean well for these people. If you truly meant well, you would have been more selfless than so. I guess. You said that I can still do it however I please, right? For even to choose my own path and all. That may be, but remember, Cassian, the path to evil is also paved with good intentions. You need to take care not to succumb to the darkness, just because you choose to believe what you do is right. In the end, you may lose sight of what truly is right, and your desires will be your downfall. She's being really ominous for no reason. Thank you, Alyssa. I'll try to keep that in mind. You're welcome, dear. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank you, all. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold-tier pa patron, Tresm Guy. Thank you for uh, subbing to our ultimate tier. It's awesome. We love you. We, we're gonna Elle's gonna be making your uh, new little icon soon. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as five dollars. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.